it's Elizabeth from the Toy Hoarder. I keep telling you guys about this enormous Toy Story collection that I have. I probably have the biggest Toy Story collection I've ever seen because I am 100% obsessed with Toy Story and everything Toy Story. I see it and I need to own it. So if it goes cheap enough, I obtain it. All right, this one is just going to be all the storage containers and dishes, so kitchen type items, bottles, backpacks, buckets, all of that kind of jazz. You're about to see it right here on the Toy Hoarder. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss all the rest of the parts of this video. Here we go. All right, I have so much stuff to show you guys. I'll show you some of the easier stuff. So some of these flat bags, this is a party bag. It was actually from Dollar Tree. All of these look the same on the other side. So there is a star pattern on the inside of this one, but other than that, it's the same on this side. And you can see the little woody tag here. I've got a couple of Easter or Halloween baskets. I'm actually <laughs> unsure. This one is more of a cloth type texture and it's plain on the back. And then this is a solid plastic woody bucket. I usually keep my Lego minifigures in here. It's pretty cool. So here are some other adorable little drawstring bags. This one I actually won from a voodoo contest and I should do a video of that because it's really really cool you guys. This is the same cereal box. I just wanted to show you guys the alternate sides of this Toy Story 4 cereal and this is also Lego storage usually for me. I've taken everything out of all of these storage containers for now. So you can imagine my room is quite the mess. I do have this cool box. It does have handles on the side. It says, don't toy with us. It's got Buzz Lightyear. Then we got some more of the gang on this side. And it's the same, don't toy with us and that side. And then there's nothing in it right this second because again, I told you I emptied all of this for this video, you guys. Okay, so this little guy is actually a coin purse. He doesn't hold very much, but there's actually some pennies in him, which I didn't know he had any change in him, to be honest. And then he's on this adorable little bag here. I believe this was initially like some kind of Play-Doh container. Honestly, I usually keep my Toy Story buddies in it, which are the approximately two inch figures. They're not in there right now because I told you I emptied everything, but that's pretty cool. So then we've got some cups from the Dollar Tree. I love this. It's It looks like drawn on artwork, you know, maybe Bonnie got older and started do doodling in her notebook with gel pens or something. And then we've got this one that was from the Dollar Tree as well. This is one of those little bathroom cups, but it's kind of strange because of the way the rim is. So I mostly use it as display or stick pens in it. A lot of these smaller bottles, I took the straw out of this one, but a lot of these smaller bottles were made for very small, small children, so I store some of my minis in them. Oh, and I will show you all of the toys, of course, but this is going to be a several part video. These are actually Minute Maid bottles, the Rex and the Woody. They are vintage now, probably. But aren't these the most adorable water bottles? Ah, oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. And then, of course, I have my couple of dishes. It's made for kids, but I absolutely love it. Use it all the time. Got my big Pizza Planet mug, little Toy Story bowl. This is actually a bathroom cup, little mouthwash cup. So... Super cute. I do have more to show you in the bathroom section. Then we got a couple of lunchbox tins. I think this one actually came with a puzzle in it. <laughs> Initially, these two are not officially Toy Story, but this looked like the Rocket Claw Machine. Picked it up at a thrift store. Same thing with this one. Um, Goodwill, I think, but it actually came from Texas Roadhouse. So it was a little water bottle with a straw. This guy is cool because his wings actually do pop out. So, sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. But his wings actually do pop out. Then this cup lights up, but the battery is dead, unfortunately. And the claw doesn't move, but I thought this was super cool. It is from the 2018 Pixar Fest. I did get this online. Unfortunately, I didn't go to the Pixar Fest. This is a recycle bin that I made, and I'll do a better video on him later. And he's not quite finished yet, but I do usually store some minis inside of him. I actually got this guy from... Uh, 
from the Dollar Tree. Those are potato head eyes on him and arms, and I just kind of drilled holes and used some hot glue on that. This is a popcorn container. I usually keep a bunch of my smaller aliens in here. Here's another popcorn container. This is a much older one as well. It does have some other characters because it was just, you know, a standard Disney World one. This I actually got when I went to Disney World. Most of my other stuff is later. This is an AMC popcorn bucket. I had to get it online. We don't have AMC by us, but super cool. This is a Big Toy Story trash can, which is pretty nifty. I usually keep my Zerg toys in here, and you'll see that in another video. Here's a big Easter bucket. Uh, while we were on tins, I figured I'd throw this in. It is a playset, and I will show it to you again in the playset section. Same thing with this one. Here's the Bucket of Soldiers. It's a Toy Story collection one, but I'm not going to show you that right now, because that's not what this part of the video is about. Here's another Easter basket or Halloween basket. So it's got different characters on each one of the sides, and then different character names on the inside. Then we've got candy dispensers. Okay, so these are cool because they light up and talk. Anyway, I'm not going to let you hear all of them because there's not really a view on these candy things. This one is a fan, and it's Bo Peep riding a rocket ship, which I think is super, super awesome. I also think it's interesting that it wasn't Jesse. These two initially were mint tins. One of them is rattling. It's not mints in it. It's actually checkers from a checker throwing buzz that I have, which I'll show you in another video. Here's a teeny tiny commemorative tin from Kodak. So that's kind of neat. This is one that I made, and I do have a Toy Mod video on this where I talked about it. So it's empty right this moment. This tin actually did have a puzzle, and I do have this puzzle somewhere, which I'll show you in another part of the puzzles, games, and books section. But there's the tin for it. Here's a tin that came with a mini Funko Pop. It's from Toy Story Mania, which is a super fun game and is also a part of the Disney parks, if you guys don't know. This came with one of the play sets. Super cute. We've got a whole bunch of the Toy Story Pez characters, some other little weird Toy Story candy dispensers. They came with little candy spheres that were not very good. Slinky Dog is a candy dispenser. This is a giant egg. I forget what kind of candy came in it, but some kind of candy and also stickers and things. This is one of the McDonald's or Burger King candy dispensers, and I think that he does the drop thing. Not super well, but... In theory, it sort of drops down. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I know it's not that great. So I've got a backpack over here. Okay, then we've got a stockings. Over here we have the cowboy boot stocking with Jesse on it. Here's a Toy Story 4 stocking. Super fuzzy up here. This is one that was actually handmade by Dustin's mom. This is so cool. Look at this. She's got the claw in here, the aliens, and it says, ooh, Christmas. I actually got that for Christmas this year, and I super love it, and I forgot to put it in my things I got for Christmas video because it was hanging on my mantle. So I'm sorry, you guys, but there that is. We've got the little bucket of aliens. I do have all the aliens and the rockets, but again, another video. The hamper I can't bring out right now because it is kind of buried, but this is what the hamper did look like, and I have this little Toy Story case that I keep some of my smaller toys in. Again, another video. This is a playset. We've got a pencil case, another backpack. I do have this little Toy Story cup as well. It is from Party City, and I got these little, I think they were sprinkle containers initially. I was going to make this a Pizza Planet rocket and the shark with a little cowboy hat from Toy Story, so mods to be, but I figured I'd show you them anyway, and then I was going to put one with toothpicks and one with Q-tips, and they were going to be for cleaning different toys and things. And then this is a bucket that I keep some of my woody toys in, <laughs> so that's kind of fun. It looks like one of those western barrels, so I thought it was fun. It's not actually Toy Story, but I thought you guys might find that interesting, and it is sort of part of my Toy Story collection. Then I've got this storage unit which is sitting on top of one of my dressers right now so I'm not taking it down but I'll let you look at it and the drawers actually do pull out so you can have different little characters in there and of course it's full of Toy Story toys which you'll see in another section and I think that about covers it. So I'll do one more pan around of everything to show you guys. Here's all again all the containers and different dishes and things that I have so kitchen slash containers. Alright guys 
that is it for this video. Let me know what you guys thought of it down in the comments below. And as always, go hit that subscribe button down below if you like what you saw today as well. Please leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, share this video with your friends and family, and be sure to tune back in for the next part of the series because my collection is so ridiculously huge that this is probably going to be a series that takes actually a couple months for me to get out, but I am so, so, so stoked to do it for you guys. So, can't wait to see you again, and until next time, have a great time playing. Bye!